being single is awesome because the only person you have to worry about making happy is yourself. Your focus when you're single can be, what am I going to do? Well, this should be your focus any day of your entire life, but what am I going to do today that's going to make me happy? And if the answer is I'm going to film a video and wear a wig that makes me feel like Ariel because Ariel has been your favorite Disney princess forever and you know secretly you were meant to be a mermaid, then do that. If that's what's going to make you happy. It's your life and your focus should be what's going to make me happy, not what is going to make everyone else around me happy but me. But that's a little off topic. Anyways, so, so, and at this point in my life, I actually prefer being alone over being in a relationship. And these are the 15 top reasons for me of why. So, number one, you can take as long as you want to get ready. I, I had, a guy asked me once, he was like, isn't there like an abbreviated version of that you can do? And I was just like, no, it's either like all in or nothing. I think once we get to a certain level of makeup skill, we can't go back. It's like, oh, now that I know the effect that I can achieve if I do all these things, it's like, I, there's no going back now. Okay, number two. You have the anticipation of meeting someone new anywhere you go. When you're in a relationship, you know that's not the case. You're not going to be looking for people. And I just, I like that feeling of anticipation. Whenever you leave your house, you could have a different opportunity to meet someone new. Okay, number three. You have more time to hang out with friends or to build friendships. I think it's very important, especially for women, to have other female friends. And I know sometimes we can forget that because as we get older, we kind of see each other as competitors instead of alliances. And that it shouldn't be that way. You should always have a few girlfriends because there are things that only they will be able to understand. And I don't want to go too off topic, but there are only, there are certain needs we need fulfilled that only other women can give to us. So, and it's also important that when we do get into relationships, we don't forget about our female friends and Okay, put all our time and energy into that new relationship. You have to have a balance. Okay, the next one, number four. You don't have to sleep with someone who snores or who steals the covers. Like, is it just me or does every single man snore? I just want peace and quiet. Like, is that too much to ask for? The benefits of single life. Okay, number five. You're not codependent. You know that when you enter into a relationship, it's going to be because you want to, not because you need to. And it also means that you are comfortable just being by yourself, which is an amazing, fulfilling relationship. But just like when you're in a relationship, when you're single, you also need to be giving love in order to receive love. Just because you're not in a romantic relationship doesn't mean you can't receive the type of love that everyone needs. You can receive it from other sources, from your friends, from coworkers, from any interaction you have, but you have to give love first. Okay, number six, 
You have time when you're single to really get to know yourself, what you value and what you want in a partner. I think that's a step we can often skip. And I think it's definitely one of the most important steps to really get to know yourself. I used to think that I knew myself, but I really just knew facts. Like I knew where I was born, what kind of foods I like, da, da, da. You're not able to really get to know yourself and know that it's 100% you unless you are completely alone. Because anyone that is around you is going to influence you, whether you realize it or not. It's just going to happen. It, there's no way to avoid it. So you have to be by yourself to know that there's not any outside influence. And then you just have the time to get to know yourself. And work on personal growth, making yourself a better person. Progress, not perfection. See? Number seven. You can keep your home at whatever temperature you like. I don't know if this is just an issue I have, but I'm very particular about the temperature I like my apartment. And I don't deal well when outsiders try to control that temperature and mess with my thermostat without asking me. That's just a boundary issue with me. But anyways, moving on. <laughs> Number eight, you don't have to shave every day. I mean, you could, but why? You know, just why? I mean, okay, next. Number nine, you can date whoever you want and have the peace of mind that you are never going to settle for someone. <laughs> Number 10, you don't have to pretend to like shitty presents. Okay, so I'm gonna do a quick story real quick about my last experience with exchanging gifts with someone I was in a romantic relationship with. So, I pride myself in being a great gift buyer. I'm a very generous person and it makes me happy to make other people happy. And when I do get gifts, I put thought into it and make it unique, tailor it to that person. And it lets them know that I have been listening to them anything they said in you know us getting to know each other more and that I put thought into it. it's not just a generic gift I wouldn't be able to give it to someone else and it have the same effect and if you're gonna get me a gift I want you to put thought into it or just don't do it at all like it's that simple I'd rather have nothing than to have gift where no thought was put into it. So, like my gift was wrapped all nice and oh, okay, it was great, yay, great, okay, let's see what, you know, I get now. No joke, it was in the plastic bag, still, not wrapped at all, N not even like a bag or anything, like really, is it that hard to put a gift in a fucking bag, seriously. <laughs> so what was even worse was the present. Now he had mentioned something earlier about maybe getting me perfume for a gift and I'm like oh okay we're on that type of gift okay. So I kind of changed my gift a little with that information and let me tell you what it was. It was body wash. And not even like the nice body wash, like Philosophy, or even Bath and Body Works. It was Olay body wash, like the value pack from Walmart for $10. Like, really? Like, oh, you shouldn't have. But really, you shouldn't have. Like, I'll take the gifts I got you back, return them, get my money, and then I'll buy myself a decent gift. And you can keep that. How about that? Deal? 
Like seriously. <laughs> Say it's Valentine's Day and you're not in a relationship. Instead of being sad about it, spend the money that you would spend on a present for someone if you were in a relationship and buy yourself a present. Get yourself a massage, buy yourself some flowers, some chocolates. Show yourself that you appreciate yourself. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day, it can be any day. I think it's very important for us to show ourselves that we appreciate us. Well, number 11, you have all the closet space to yourself. I know that if I were to get into a relationship, there's no way anyone would be fitting anything else in my closets right now. Number 12, you can reflect on life slash your relationships and take the time to grow into a better person. See what your weaknesses are and what you can do to strengthen those areas of your relationship skills. If you're someone, well, I think it's in order to be in a healthy relationship, one needs to be healthy first. So just work on areas that are an issue for you in relationships. Constantly grow as a human and just becoming a better person. Okay, number 13. When you're single, you realize that you can do a better job at loving yourself than anyone can. Self-love is more reliable than any relationship. At the end of the day, it's going to be you and no one else. So you need to be giving yourself love just like you would give love to someone else if you were in a relationship. Number 14. Take the time to spoil yourself while you're single because it may be your last. Tomorrow I can meet my soulmate and we end up getting married and having kids. And this will have been my last time that I was single. And if I don't take advantage of it and enjoy it, that opportunity may never be here again. And I think we as women spend so much time looking for new relationships when we're single instead of just enjoying our own company. And then that opportunity is gone forever. If you don't have any children and you're single, enjoy this time because it may be your last time. Like really think about that. Number 15, no drama of any sort. You don't have to worry about someone being jealous, possessive, going through your phone, not, you know the deal, you know the drill. It can be a very beneficial period in your life and I think we need just to take a deep breath and enjoy being present in the moment and just waking up every morning and asking ourselves, what are we gonna do today that's gonna make us happy and no one else? Okay guys, um, have a good night, day, and I'll see you later.